Hey, I'm Gary, and welcome to another segment of Interviews with Experts. Today, I've, I'm being joined with uh, Nicole McCants, who is a psychotherapist and a relationship expert here in Toronto with her own practice. So I'm very happy to have her with me today. Uh, Nicole, one thing that's, that's becoming a bigger and bigger issue in relationships is the effect that Facebook has mm -hmm. on, on what's going on. And I know I've written about breaking up twice. You, know, you break up with your girlfriend in person or however you do it, but then you have to somehow disengage in Facebook because, and you're so intertwined because of mutual friends and then do you, do you, do you um, just um, unfriend them or do you block them so now they're invisible and does that seem harsh? So this Facebook thing has really affected relationships. Yeah. Tell me about... It's, it's uh, much more difficult and actually specifically I wanted to chat a little bit about infidelity because right. I find with Facebook it being so um, easy so when, especially when it's like, let's say on your mobile phone, it is now so easy to cheat and to be unfaithful. So for example, you can now cheat from the comfort of your own couch mm -hmm. with your partner right beside you, right? So you're texting away or you're, you're posting and so on. So I think the, um, the difficulty is it's easy to connect with our past loves, our past, our exes, right? And it's easy, I, I, I think about, there's a very slippery slope Often they'll say, oh, I'll just send my ex a quick, um, a quick email, how are you, long time no see. But what often happens, and I've noticed with my, my clients, is that, okay, so that's fine. And then they often talk, the, they rationalize, oh, well, we'll just meet for coffee, it's been a long time, like, no big deal. And then they meet for coffee. And then from there, it's like more rationalizing and rationalizing. And I, I'd like people to think, would they tell their partner, or would they be okay with their partner seeing what they're doing on Facebook. So the emails and so on with, let's say their exes or inappropriate people. Right. So, but if they're not cheating though, that's emotional cheating. Right. Right, so what's the difference? I mean, I, I assume you said slippery slope. So yeah. does emotional cheating necessarily, and flirting, yeah. right, and self-validating all that, does yeah. that necessarily lead to actual physically cheating, do you think? Well, I think there's, I think that's a really good point. I, I would say it's a three-step process. So it starts with flirting, and flirting is, you know, somewhat natural. However, um, a lot of my clients are uncomfortable with flirting, so it really depends on the person. Let's mm -hmm. say you're out and your partner is flirting with the waitress. They, that might be uncomfortable for them. But it's not, uh, you know, them being unfaithful, of course. But the next level, the emotional cheating is still cheating, right? right? So despite... Um, despite whether it goes anywhere physically, just just having this relationship with with an ex is much easier. And and the fact that you can do it now, I mean, back in the day you had to hide it because you'd be on the phone or you know it was more obvious. But now you can really do it from anywhere. So there's flirting, which may be okay, especially if your partner's in front of you. You're a little flirtatious, yeah, may be okay. Are, yeah. But I guess. We, would you say that the definition of emotional cheating may be that if you had to, if, if your partner saw you doing it, would you feel good or bad? Would you got it. it. Right. Okay. Ask yourself, if my partner read this email, if my partner overheard this conversation, would they be okay with it? I think that's a great parameter to ask yourself. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number two, would you be okay if you overheard your partner speaking with somebody else about that? Right. Right? Because often it's like, no, no way. Well, then it just opens your eyes as to, Okay, you know, is it worth it? If the tables were turned and you were hurt, is it really worth it? Yeah, hurt. I mean, um, I uh, had a conversation with a sexologist recently who really emphasized that cheating is not so much about the physical act, it's about the mountains of deceit you that go it. along with it. And yeah. that's the, the really lying and thing, the secrecy. Right? Exactly. So we've got Facebook, we've got text messaging, there's all sorts of ways to get involved in emotional infidelity. Yeah. Um, how do you counsel your clients um, with this type of thing, how yeah. to address it? Let me tell you, um, I've had quite a few clients come and, and want to heal their heart after being cheated on. And uh, it's hard because the biggest thing is once they continue the relationship, um, it's getting over the, it's about trust, right? Which is the foundation of most relationships. So just mm -hmm. building on that trust. And the only way to do that is for your partner to act in certain ways to build the trust again. Trust needs to be rebuilt. When it's ripped down, it needs to be rebuilt. So it takes a lot of extra work for the, for the partner. But often some partners get defensive and that can be the worst thing um, mm -hmm. to do. Because if you're not going to work for the trust, then how is it going to you know, be built? 
Well, it's a really important point because I think and I, I've seen personally um, the games that we've played and the flirting that seems just self-validating yeah. at the time, but the other person that you're engaging doesn't think so, and they think they're, yeah. you know, there's another move plus another move and then heats up and then all of a sudden you're in a compromise yeah. situation. Exactly, right? yeah, and just being aware of the slippery slope concept, right? Right. Yeah, and, and possibly if, if you think, okay, Often we rationalize these behaviors. We rationalize, we say, oh, it's, it's just uh, a coffee. And then it ends up being, oh, well, she wants to me to go see her condo. What's the big deal? I haven't seen her in a while. Might as well go see the condo. And then before you know it, you're you know, in this private room. And yeah. yeah. And it's difficult to make decisions now because, of course, um, our bodies react in a certain way. So if you put yourself in a certain situation, it's way harder to, to act rationally and make the right choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good point. And my mother would say the golden rule. So, you know, the golden rule, of course, is, you know, do unto others as you would do unto them. And if you put yourself in your partner's place and think, you know, how would I feel, there's your answer, right? You got it. Okay, perfect. Nicole, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, if any of our viewers would like to get a hold of you and take advantage of your expertise, how can they do that? Yeah, uh, the best way is my website, which is my name, so NicoleMcCants.com, um, or my phone number, 416-619-0442. Perfect. Nicole, thanks very much for being with us today. And thank you for viewing another segment of Interviews with Experts.